Joining us in the studio is Dr. Martin Kamis. He heads the Division of Energy and Climate at the Institute of Applied Ecology here in Berlin. Now we've heard that uh, science is even able to simulate the impact of oceans on the climate. Um, probably there are not very many open questions left for science. So is it fair to say that politicians now have no more excuses to really get involved into climate protection? I fully agree. And that's what, what needs to be done. And I think that is also the focus for the next uh, negotiation or the negotiation which are planned for 20 2015 in Paris. Yeah. Now, the synthesis report 2014 of the IPCC just had a message which wasn't much different uh, to the ones of the years before. Uh, climate change is really a tough thing for mankind. Um, can these IPCC reports still raise pressure on politicians? Um, I think they're still important in order for designing the policies. Uh, but as a general um, designing the policies and, and to know what impact policies would have, but also uh, in both in terms of adaptation and in terms of mitigation. Um, but in, they are not, uh, they, they, I think the number of um, politicians who deny climate change is really decreasing. Yeah. So yeah. the IPCC is really the body who um, declares and, and, and uh, what is uh, common science. So, so the message really has reached, so to say, politics. I mean, is there any alternative to reducing greenhouse gas emissions for climate protection? Not at all, I would say. The only thing what we can do is to do what is possible and what is um, will be possible in the future. But we need to do and to change right now our politics and uh, policies and our behavior as well. Yeah. Now, the, the US and China, the biggest greenhouse gas uh, emission countries, actually intend to cooperate and uh, to do more for climate protection. Are they on the right path? It depends. The direction, I think, is correct. But in terms of um, the challenges, which are explained by the IPCC, I think it's, it's uh, certainly not enough. But for me, it's more important to be in the right direction right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, the intention is something which uh, is agreed in uh, a few years ago in the, uh, under the climate negotiation that parties declare their intentions for the period post-2020. Mm -hmm. And that's what uh, China and the US now delivered. And therefore, I think I consider this as a positive move. And are you satisfied with a concrete plan? Yeah, it's, um, there are positive things and also things which are more critical, for example. So they, they uh, refer to a number of things like carbon capture and storage, which are not easy, I would say. But on the other hand, where I'm a bit more concerned, uh, they are not easy, but, but still uh, um, positive, I would say. But on the other hand, there are also things uh, or strategies on that, like clean coal, where I have a lot of concerns about. Because mm -hmm. the problem with clean coal is something which lasts more than 35 years. And to my understanding, and that's what I get from the message from the IPCC, mm -hmm. we have to be decarbonized by uh, 2050 already. And have to head on for renewables. Thanks a lot for the talk, Dr. Martin Kamis.